Top 10 things to do in Dubrovnik Hello and welcome to our video about the top 10 things to do in Dubrovnik, a city known as the Pearl of the Adriatic. Dubrovnik is an amazing and popular tourist destination, thanks to its rich history, stunning architecture and beautiful beaches. Make sure to watch until the end, as we saved the best thing to do in Dubrovnik for last. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best travel information about Europe. We use a mix of travel experience, a lot of local knowledge and reviews to provide you with the most reliable and relevant travel information in Europe. So be sure to visit our website for the biggest travel website about Europe. Dubrovnik is a city located in the southern part of Croatia on the Adriatic Sea. The city has a population of around 42,000 people and covers an area of approximately 21 square kilometers. It's a city with a rich cultural heritage that combines Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque architecture, making it one of the most attractive cities in Europe. The city's stunning old town, encircled by ancient walls, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the main attraction for visitors to Dubrovnik. The city is also surrounded by stunning beaches, crystal clear waters and lush greenery, offering visitors an array of opportunities to relax and unwind. Dubrovnik also offers a unique culinary experience that's a fusion of Mediterranean and Balkan cuisines. The city is known for its fresh seafood, local wines and traditional dishes like pasticada, a slow-cooked beef stew. Visitors can explore the city's many restaurants and cafes to taste the local flavors and enjoy the laid-back Mediterranean lifestyle. But let's start with a short introduction to the city's history. Dubrovnik has a long and rich history dating back to the 7th century. Originally settled by the Romans, Dubrovnik became an important maritime city-state in the Middle Ages and a significant cultural and economic center during the Renaissance. Dubrovnik's wealth and power were built on maritime trade and diplomacy and its merchants and sailors traveled throughout the Mediterranean and beyond. In the 14th and 15th centuries, Dubrovnik was a major rival to Venice in the Adriatic and even established its own maritime empire with colonies and trading posts in the Balkans, Greece and the Eastern Mediterranean. In the 16th century, the city's independence was threatened by the Ottoman Empire, but it managed to resist and maintain its autonomy. During the 19th and early 20th centuries, Dubrovnik was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and after World War I, it became part of Yugoslavia. Following the breakup of Yugoslavia in the 1990s, Dubrovnik suffered damage during the Croatian War of Independence, but it has since been restored and is now a thriving tourist destination. Now let's take a look at the top 10 things to do in this amazing city. Number 10. Visit the Franciscan Monastery. The Franciscan Monastery, located in the heart of Dubrovnik's old town, is one of the city's most important historic and cultural landmarks. It was founded in the early 14th century by Franciscan friars, who settled in the city after the Mongol invasion. Over the centuries, the monastery has been expanded and renovated, resulting in an impressive blend of Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque architectural styles. One of the highlights of the monastery is its stunning cloister, which features a tranquil garden filled with fragrant lemon trees and a well-maintained fountain. Visitors can stroll through the cloister and admire the intricate carvings on the columns and arches. The monastery also houses a rich collection of medieval manuscripts, artworks and artifacts, including a 15th century pharmacy that is still in operation today. Another reason to visit the Franciscan monastery is its impressive collection of relics, including the skull of Saint Blaise, the patron saint of Dubrovnik. The monastery's church, which is open to the public, is a breathtaking example of Baroque architecture and features a number of stunning frescoes and artworks. Visitors can take a break from the crowds and noise of the city and enjoy a moment of quiet contemplation in the cloister or garden. Number 9. Take a sea kayaking tour and visit Lokrum Island. A sea kayaking tour in Dubrovnik is an exciting way to explore the stunning coastline and crystal clear waters of the Adriatic Sea. Dubrovnik is surrounded by beautiful islands and hidden coves, making it a perfect location for sea kayaking. During a sea kayaking tour, visitors can paddle along the picturesque coastline, discover hidden caves and beaches and admire the stunning views of Dubrovnik's old town from the sea. The tours are suitable for all ages and abilities 
as they can be tailored to the individual's preferences and skill level. One of the highlights of a sea kayaking tour in Dubrovnik is exploring Lokrum Island, an uninhabited island just a short distance from the city's old town. It's a popular destination for tourists who are looking to escape the busy streets of the city and enjoy some nature. The island is covered in lush greenery and offers stunning views of the Adriatic Sea. Visitors can take a walk around the island's botanical gardens, explore the old monastery and take a dip in the crystal clear waters at one of the island's beaches. The island is also known for being a popular filming location for the TV show Game of Thrones. Another great spot for sea kayaking is the Elafiti Islands, a small archipelago located just off the coast of Dubrovnik. The islands are known for their beautiful beaches, clear waters and stunning scenery. Visitors can paddle along the islands, stopping to explore hidden coves, snorkel in the crystal clear waters and enjoy a picnic lunch on a secluded beach. Number 8. Visit Dubrovnik Cathedral Dubrovnik Cathedral, also known as the Cathedral of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, is an impressive religious site in the heart of Dubrovnik's old town. Its grand Baroque facade and elegant bell tower dominate the surrounding streets, making it a prominent landmark in the city. The cathedral has a rich history dating back to the 6th century when a Byzantine-style church was built on the site. The current structure was built in the 17th century after the previous cathedral was destroyed in the devastating earthquake of 1667. The cathedral has undergone several renovations and additions since then, including the addition of the bell tower in the 18th century. One of the highlights of the cathedral is its stunning interior, which features a blend of Baroque and Renaissance styles. The nave is adorned with intricate carvings, gilded altars and colourful frescoes, while the side chapels are home to many treasures, including an impressive collection of relics and artwork. Visitors to Dubrovnik Cathedral can also view the impressive treasury, which houses a collection of precious artefacts, including silver and gold reliquaries, vestments, chalices and crucifixes. Number 7. Swim at Banja Beach Banja Beach is one of the most popular beaches in Dubrovnik, located just a few minutes' walk from the historic old town. It's a pebble and sandy beach that offers crystal clear waters with stunning views of the Adriatic Sea and the Dubrovnik city walls. The beach has both a public and private area, with sun loungers, umbrellas and beach bars available for rent. Visitors can also enjoy a variety of water sports, including jet skiing, parasailing and kayaking. The beach is ideal for swimming, sunbathing and relaxing, and is suitable for families with children. Aside from its natural beauty, Banja Beach is also known for its lively atmosphere and nightlife. During the summer months, the beach is a hub of activity with DJs playing music, live performances and other events taking place. The beach bars and restaurants offer a range of food and drink options, from fresh seafood to cocktails and ice cream. Visitors to Banji Beach can also enjoy a unique perspective of the old town of Dubrovnik, with its ancient walls and red-roofed buildings. For those seeking an active vacation, the beach is also a great starting point for a hike up Mount Surt, which offers panoramic views of the surrounding areas. Number 6. Take a Game of Thrones Tour Dubrovnik is known to many as the real-life location for King's Landing the capital of the Seven Kingdoms in the popular TV series Game of Thrones. Many of the city's historic landmarks and stunning natural scenery have been featured in the show, making it an attractive destination for fans of the series. A Game of Thrones tour in Dubrovnik takes visitors on a journey through some of the most iconic filming locations in the city. One of the most famous sites is the city walls, which were used in the show as the walls of King's Landing. The tour takes visitors to the exact locations where some of the most memorable scenes were shot, including the Walk of Shame scene on the Jesuit staircase and the House of the Undying in the Manchetta Tower. In addition to exploring the Game of Thrones filming locations, the tour also provides insight into the city's rich history and culture. Visitors can learn about Dubrovnik's medieval past and its role as an important centre of trade and culture in the Mediterranean. The tour is a unique way to experience the city and its landmarks, even for those who are not fans of the show. Number 5. Visit St. Blaise's Church St. Blaise's Church is a Baroque-style Catholic church located in the heart of Dubrovnik's old town. The church is dedicated to St. Blaise, the patron saint of Dubrovnik, who is believed to have saved the city from a Venetian attack in the 10th century. 
The church was originally built in the 14th century, but was destroyed in the earthquake of 1667 and was subsequently rebuilt in the Baroque style. The stunning facade of the church features two bell towers and a statue of St. Blaise. Number 4. Explore Fort Lovrienac. Fort Lovrienac, also known as St. Lawrence Fortress, is a prominent defensive structure situated on a rocky outcrop overlooking the Adriatic Sea on the western side of Dubrovnik's old town. It's considered to be one of the most impressive fortifications in the area and an important landmark of Dubrovnik. Construction of Fort Lovrienac began in the early 11th century, with additional fortifications added in the 14th and 15th centuries. The fortress served as a crucial defense against foreign invasions and attacks, particularly from the Venetians. It's said that the Venetians attempted to conquer Dubrovnik several times, but each time they were repelled by the strength of Fort Lovrienac. Today, visitors can explore the fortress and its surroundings, including the steep cliffs that drop down to the sea below. The fortress walls offer stunning views of the surrounding area and are an ideal spot for photography. Visitors can also attend various cultural events, including theatre performances and concerts, which are held in the fortress's open-air theatre. Fort Lovrienac is a must-visit attraction for those interested in history, architecture and military engineering. The fortress's impressive walls, towers and battlements are a testament to the ingenuity and skill of the engineers and builders who constructed it. Visitors can immerse themselves in the rich history of Dubrovnik and learn about the city's struggle for independence and sovereignty. Number 3. Ride the cable car to Mount Serge. A cable car ride in Dubrovnik is an exhilarating experience that offers breathtaking panoramic views of the city and the Adriatic Sea. The cable car, which was opened in 2010, takes visitors from the old town to the top of Mount Serge in just a few minutes. The ride itself is smooth and comfortable, and the cable car cabins are fully enclosed, providing safety and protection from the elements. Once you reach the top, you'll be rewarded with a stunning view of Dubrovnik's red rooftops, the city walls and the nearby islands. You can also see the Lovrienac fortress, the island of Lokrum and the Dalmatian coast in the distance. There are several observation decks where you can take photos or simply enjoy the view. In addition to the view, there are several other reasons why you should go on a cable car ride in Dubrovnik. Firstly, it provides an excellent opportunity to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy some peace and quiet. Secondly, it's a unique way to see the city from above and get a different perspective on its layout and architecture. Lastly, there's a restaurant at the top of the mountain where you can enjoy a meal or a drink while taking in the stunning view. Number 2. Explore the Old Town Dubrovnik's Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that offers visitors a glimpse into Croatia's rich history and culture. It's surrounded by massive stone walls that have withstood centuries of battles and its narrow streets and alleys are lined with Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque architecture. One of the main attractions in the Old Town is Stradun, the main street that stretches from Pile Gate to the Old Harbour. It's a bustling hub of activity, with cafes, restaurants and shops selling everything from handmade souvenirs to designer clothes. The street is paved with shiny marble and lined with historic buildings, such as the Sponza Palace and the Rector's Palace. Mincheta Tower is a 15th century fortification located within the walls of Dubrovnik. It's the highest point of the city's defences and served as a symbol of Dubrovnik's power and strength during its heyday. The tower is named after the Mincheta family, who provided funding for its construction. The tower has a distinctive round shape and is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Dubrovnik. Visitors can climb to the top of the tower for panoramic views of the city and the surrounding Adriatic Sea. One of the unique aspects of the old town is the Butsa Bar, a cliffside bar that offers spectacular views of the sea. To reach the bar, visitors must pass through a small hole in the city wall and climb down a steep set of stairs. Once there, they can enjoy a cold drink and soak in the beautiful scenery. Overall, exploring the old town in Dubrovnik is a must-do for any visitor to the city. With its historic buildings, beautiful views and unique attractions, it offers a one-of-a-kind experience that is not to be missed. Number 1. Walk the Walls of Dubrovnik The walls of Dubrovnik are considered one of the most iconic landmarks of the city and are recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
These walls were built in the 10th century to protect the city from invaders, and the existing walls were reinforced and extended during the 13th and 14th centuries. The walls of Dubrovnik are about 2 kilometers long, and they encircle the entire old town of Dubrovnik, offering magnificent views of the city, the Adriatic Sea and the surrounding islands. Walking on the walls of Dubrovnik is an unforgettable experience. The walls offer visitors a chance to explore the city's rich history and architecture with a bird's-eye view of the stunning red-tiled roofs, narrow alleys and charming squares. As you walk along the walls, you will see the fortresses, towers and gates that were built to protect the city over the centuries, as well as the beautiful St. John Fortress and the Lovrienac Fortress. Walking on the walls is not only an enjoyable activity, but also a great way to exercise while enjoying the fresh sea breeze and spectacular views. The walls have a few steep stairs and some uneven surfaces, but the effort is definitely worth it. The walls are open to visitors from early in the morning until sunset, and the best time to visit is early in the morning or late in the afternoon, when the temperature is cooler and the light is perfect for photos. In conclusion, the walls of Dubrovnik offer visitors a unique and unforgettable experience, combining stunning views, rich history, and a chance to get some exercise while exploring one of the most beautiful cities in Croatia. So, if you're planning a trip to Dubrovnik, make sure to put a walk on the walls at the top of your to-do list. That's the end of our video of the top 10 things to do in Dubrovnik. Check out more amazing videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website to find the best travel deals to Europe. See you next time.